Hello, how are you guys doing? We're back. Just got done doing some uh, Minecraft, but Minecraft is weird and probably gonna get copyright claims that it doesn't deserve. So I figured, hey, rather than worry about that, let's just restart stream. And hey, you know what else we're doing? We're doing some analog horror. I'm allowed to say analog horror because uh, it's not pronounced the way you would think. Let me go and uh, get this set up. There we go. There it is. All right, all right. Let's see what you guys have in store for me. Let's start off with the easy ones. Um, we've got this one from uh, Luigi Guy that people are excited about called Pool Rooms. Let's find that one first. Let me go ahead and get the thing up. Hi. There's my ugly mug. Hope you enjoy it. Display capture, there it is. All right, let's try pool rooms as recommended by Luigi Guy. All right, so the, the theme for tonight is we're just gonna be doing a bunch of ones that were recommended by chat. Um, this one is called Pool Rooms. It's by Matt Studios. Let's check and see if there's other stuff that they've done. So they've done a couple other ones, so we'll go and watch those as well. Why not? Uh, let me get so I can actually see what chat is saying again, because somehow I closed that. Uh, the pool rooms are sexy as free. Okay. Let me go ahead and let the Discord know. Uh, at at everyone, stream stram. Minecraft. Later. Analog horror. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Pool rooms don't get lost. Sure. Graphically looks good. Looks like a real place. Camera movements are solid. Just exploration. Kind of down with that. The floor is fucked. I don't really know what's going on with those dots. It's probably real. I, I mean... How much of this exact aesthetic can you get, you know? This has got to be a render. Like, the spacing of the things on the floor and they haven't been scuffed up. It's got to be a render. There, there's non-slip things. I mean, look at that. That's no way that's real. The camera shake, I think, is done through VR. Like, I think they might have made these this area, and then they're um, walking through it in VR to do the, the filming. The wall texture is real, like, repeatable and smooth. The, like, all of the textures are repeating super clean. No shadows. They're, they're shadows. It's just no shadows on the person. But we haven't really, like, looked at that yet. Why would you do this? The, uh, the adding the, the shake and post I don't think looks good. I think that looks garbage when that's done because uh, the parallaxing is off. Huh. And the movement is VR, yeah. Water looks kind of fake, yeah, for sure. Joe's in the pool. This just looks like a rich person's pool. I kind of love it. 
You know? So immaculate and stupid. It's hard to make water look good, yeah. Cleaning the ground on this would suck. <laughs> You're right. So who's that guy who did the other uh, backroom stuff that we watched? That really good one. Kane Pixels. I think he probably set the standard that everyone else is going to use for it. Did Steam res or yeah, stream restarted, yes. Is this place real? No. It's just a really well done uh VR setup, I think. And I think it's why he walks for a while and then it cuts the camera and stops. Did I watch the Mandela catalog? I'm pretty sure I did, right? That was the think one? Yeah, yeah, I even did a, a um, video on it. I also did watch the Scrimbo. I'm gonna bet that he doesn't go in the water because, oh, he does. I love light hitting a otherwise dark white plane like that. That's just like, that's good shit, man. I don't know why you would get in the water here. To some degree, I feel like I like this one less just because um, I know the gimmick now. Like they've, they've got a VR set up and they're wandering around in it, you know? The ripples aren't right for, for his movement. Yeah. He's also not dripping now, which he should be. I love that we convinced you all that piss shitties were a thing. Yeah, jumping in the water was a huge mistake. I don't know why the fuck you would do that. That hole sucks. Why'd you go in? Why? This reminds me of like, what was it? 21 Blue Lick Road? The weird baptismal font in the middle of like the porn area. Why would you go into the water in the dark? You know what I mean? The curved surfaces looks nice in the, the pool. That's true. Oh, that is giving me some weird perspective shit. What is going on? This is where Jojo uh, tries to, to climb out of the thing, right? I remember that. It's actually not that tall, it turns out. He was just really weak. Confirmed, Joe is in the pool water. Stale air would kill you. I assume that air is coming in like the same way that people come into the, the back rooms. What? Wait, hold up. I think I heard something. Yeah, 
He said hello. Oh my god, you're fucking stupid, dude. He's lost. Why? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Why would you do that? Like, keep track of where you're going, dude. He just, like, wandered around. He had no... He was, like, aimlessly wandering. And got himself lost. <sighs> yeah, why would you go into the dark rooms where you could get murdered? When you could not. That's some good. That looks great. That's fine. It's fine. It's giving me a sinus headache, but it's fine. Okay. Um, sure. More, more exploration. And who is that done by? That was done by Wanderer J7. Like why would you why would you get in the water? Like that would just make it harder to leave. Would you actually stream real horror movies? Um I feel like there's enough other content for now. Um And I'd have to get access to the vineyard to do something like that. Like Yeah, that's a good question. What is the temperature of the water? Like, he kind of just walked into the water assuming it was going to be acceptable. Could have been anything. You know? It could have been, like, torturously hot. It could have been steaming. Or, like, frigid cold to the point where he goes in shock or something. But he kept walking? Should be room temperature if no one's there. I mean, yeah, but like, we don't know the physics of this place. They could be weird. What if there's like heated panels under there or something? This is a back rooms ripoff. It's supposed to be a uh, extension of the back rooms universe. How do you even know it's water? It could be anything that's a clear liquid, you know, like purified piss. Like, why would you? <laughs> why don't you have a flashlight, my dude? Why are you wandering around in the dark without leaving any breadcrumbs going back the way you came? You are the dumbest motherfucker. 
You deserve everything that happens to you. I am actively victim blaming, blaming this guy. Like, fuck this guy. Joe's getting lost in the garage on purpose. There's also the assumption that the floor is going to remain stable, I guess? And like, you know there's shit in here, right? What if one of the lights falls down into the water and electrocutes you? You know? Like, I love this kind of aesthetic, don't get me wrong. I'm with you. I love water in weird spots like this. Like, this looks cool as shit. Like, do you remember how he came in here? I don't. The water here is... Oh, it's not as deep as I thought. It looks like another back rooms thing. Okay, wait, hold up. Uh, discovery date, March 3rd, 1990, location approximately six miles north of the threshold. Origin of artifact to be determined. Additional information of the tape was found in Bauer S10 camera. Date of recording is currently unknown. So this person got, got murdered. You should do some RPG horror streams? What does that entail? I can't tell what the fuck I'm looking at. He's gonna get monstered. And then he's gonna get jump scared like three, two, one. Where is it? It just ends? No jump scare? Okay. Is this... Oh, this is a different guy. By Don Bits. Who has done nothing similar to this since. It might be music. I don't feel comfortable listening to this. What is this? One hour of silence occasionally broken by the occasional bruh. Bruh. Just go ahead and put that in the corner there. All right. This is from Depth e Depth Echo. Yeah, we're passing through channel two now. Okay. should be channel six, if I remember correctly. Can someone check that for me? Can we get some other people down there to monitor the current state? Smith, we might have a leakage in the fuel storage zone. Just got a report from an intern. Okay. That's doable. We'll get that sorted out in a little bit. Let's sort it out in a little bit. I'll send someone to listen to this channel to take notes. They should be here soon, I hope. Any sightings yet? The backroom videos with the dinosaurs? No, what? What's with these pillars constantly appearing everywhere? Did someone mark this down? I don't know. It's just a big one. 
Oracle Project and Tangy Virus. See if I got a sticky note around here somewhere. Why are you looking at the floor so much? Like, please turn your head up. Yeah, worst camera operator. I think we're done with this one. Like, the guy can't aim up enough to use it. Like, fuck that. And, and they use the thing from the other one. All right. I recommend Even Tide Media Center. Even Tide Media Center. Wonderful. This looks perfect. Yes. Yes, bitch. Let's go. So this is from the channel Even Tide Media Center. 18k subs. What was the other one? Learn about architecture. Tangy virus. What is an impossible shape? Wonderful. Love this already. Oracles. Impossible shape is known as a Penrose shape. Let me back that up a bit. Is a geometric structure that cannot exist within 3D Euclidean space. Such configurations cannot exist within the limits of non-Euclidean space, such as elliptical, sure. Penrose shapes seem to be paradoxical in nature. It is merely our psyche that dictates. The, by disregarding the limitations of our mind, we can begin to come to an understanding of what the nature of impossible shapes. Part two, impossible shapes in architecture. Oh, look, it's Escher. The concept of an impossible shape was de uh, devised by a psychologist, Lionel Penrose, and his son, mathematician, Roger Penrose. Uh-huh. Okay. Just make sure we read that. To believe their creations were impossible to create within the confines of our universe. Okay. But... Despite the incredible ingenuity of Lionel and Roger Penrose, their minds were ultimately unfit. Penrose. Artist M.C. Escher was responsible for popularizing the image of impossible shapes. His art often depicts buildings that incorporate these configurations. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, such art opens up the possibility of real world uh, constructions of impossible shapes the usage of these shapes could be a gateway to unlocking perpetual motion machines I mean yeah if it goes right back around bruh emote win we already have one impossible shapes lead us or have the capability to lead us towards the infinite energy Sure, yeah, if you can drop a rock and then it rolls around back to the beginning again. 
It requires the trained mind to conjecture or conjure the appearance of truly impossible. Not even MC Escher was capable of such a task. He did great. I just think that that sounds like he's like an MC. The key of the secrets of the universe lies within the brain. The Penrose Triangle is actually created in real life, but it only has an optical illusion. Constructing an impossible shape. I mean, like, with, like, video games, you could make a... You know, architecture that doesn't work. That's what basically like Portal is, right? The following instructions contains information on how to successfully construct an impossible shape. Hey, Zerke, how you doing? Zerke? Don't know if I pronounced that right, but hey. In order to begin the process of creating an impossible configuration, you must first be open to the possibility. Okay. To determine if the configuration is truly impossible, it's best to rotate it in 3D space. If your shape does, is not volumetrically closed, it is a sign that there is an error in your construction process. What? The following instructions ignore all mental distraction. Okay, do my best. Step one. By extruding a rectangular prism of any material upwards relative to your coordinate axis. Uh, you've just made a long rectangle at that point? Right? Note, the larger the object is, the less stable it will be after construction is finished. Okay. Step two. Extrude a second rectangular prism perpendicular to the angle of the first. Sure. Okay. The lengths of both extrusions must be equal to one another. All right. I got it in my head. I got it. A third rectangular prism should be placed within the vicinity of the construction. Just kind of over there. There. Hold on. I, I think I think I can I, I think I can do this. Hold up. All right. Let, let me let me minimize this for a sec. Okay. All right. So we we got the first rectangle, right? Can you guys see this? You guys can. Okay, good. All right. So we got the first rectangle. I feel like that's pretty easy to to imagine like a geometric form like so, right? Um Like that's pretty easy. And then it likes, it wants you to do another one. I'll just put it down here just so we got more space. It wants us to put another one that's the same length. So we'll just copy this one. Can we rotate in this? We can, okay, cool. Rotate like so, okay. So you can put that guy like right there. Okay, so that that's what they're asking for, right? But they want another one in the vicinity of those two. Okay, so we'll just put that there. And we could probably make a few more in the vicinity of that one. Like, of different sizes and, like, of different angles and, like, you know, near each other and far away from each other. Like so? I think I'm following this. I don't know. Does that work? Okay, just making sure I'm understanding what it's trying to get me to, to, to visualize here. Okay, good. All right, that's that bit. Okay, I rotate. No, I did some serious rotation. Uh, you kind of didn't explain the last bit. Okay. 
Rewind to step three. The step three part broke. The rotated object should completely disappear at this point. There's no closed captioning. At this stage, it should be completely visible. Here's the full rotational view. And then something weird happens at the... Okay, we're gonna back it up. Is it just like the vertices getting fucked? Oh, there's like a face in it. Oh, no! Okay. Okay. Even Tide Media Center. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. This is like the only dance I can do without bumping into my mic. Bumped it anyway. Bruh. <laughs> okay, I won't do it again. Tonight, foggy with a chance of thunderstorms high in the upper 50s, with a chance of 70% wind east of 40 to 50 miles per hour. Okay. I don't feel like I need to read this unless if it's spookles. No spooky weather? So there's like something on the camera. Just like clean that off for you. There you go. So the, the lighthouse is at Misty Point. Ceiling? What? Fog. Visibility is quarter mile less, especially around bodies of water. Due to inclement conditions, residents of Misty Point, blah blah blah, are advised to remain indoors. Seek shelter immediately. Have you seen the plush that Mr. Manticore is selling? I have not, no. I don't know what we're talking about. That's moving way too fast. The Monument Mythos guys made a really cute plush. Is it of James Dean? Take caution to avoid any coastal areas during this time. Location near Misty Point Lighthouse or the Greater Misty Point region should be evacuated. Cover all reflected objects with opaque materials such as duct tape. Do not attempt to look directly at the lighthouse. Okay, the lighthouse is fucked up. Let's go! Yes! Bruh. Fucking love lighthouses.
Oh, we're supposed to avoid the lighthouse. That's a thing. Avoid his gaze. Something is coming from the sea. There's something rising out of the water. The deluge brings forth the light of the ocean. The lighthouse is glowing. Oh no, there's a spooky face! Oh! Oh! Did you see it? There was a spooky face! Uh-oh! It's the lighthouse! Don't look, look directly at it! It's fucked up for some reason! I mean, it's got the veins coming off of it, so that's not good. Oh. Boston is gone. Oh, I see. We're doing more. There's there's more. Massachusetts defense. Ooh. Okay. We gonna hide under the uh, the desk? Quick recaps: non-Euclidean geometry architecture is cool. The lighthouse is fucked. It's all we know. We live in an ever-changing world. Unfortunately, scientific advancement comes uh, conflict because we all know that the world is a cube. In this day and age, certain weapons can be used to wipe out entire cities with ease. We must therefore face the reality that one day a nuclear attack on America may occur. Solid. Know the danger of nuclear weapons to protect yourself and your family. Warning signals. There are two types of signals to be prepared for, the alert signal and the attack warning. The alert signal denotes a peacetime emergency while under attack. Okay, here's what the alert signal sounds like. Okay. Here's what an attack warning sounds like. Kind of the same vibe. If you hear an attack warning siren, head for shelter immediately. The symbol on the screen denotes the location of a fallout shelter. The effects. <laughs> there are four distinct events that occur when a bomb detonates. The first is blinding flash of light, which occurs instantaneously. I'm feeling the effects. Next comes the searing wave of heat that ignites everything in its path. Then a blast wave carrying the dangerous debris and sound of the explosion. Uh... Oh, House on the Ocean I need to watch, too. House on the Ocean. Got it. Fallout. Finally, radioactive fallout drops from the explosion's mushroom cloud. Fallout is one of the most deadly aspects of a nuclear explosion. Once the bomb drops, look away immediately. Oh, is it like the... F is that how it's like the lighthouse? That's why we're bringing it up? At this point, heading for cover is futile. The most you can do is hope that the heat kills you before the flash. <laughs> Jesus. The aftermath. There is no aftermath. Hooray! 
Once the attack begins, there's no hope for survival. The bomb is lethal material that is expelled from the cloud of the blast. The effects of the true nature of fallout are unknown. It's radiation. We know that. I feel like we understand that one. Fallout can seep into even the most impenetrable shelters. There is no escape. Okay. Nope, that's not normal. What? When the wind blows, how to prepare? You don't. <sighs> Fucking got it. Once it begins, there's no way to stop it. An attack is inevitable, and as such, one should mentally prepare for the day that it happens. Just fucking get over it. Those who are ready for, uh, will experience no pain in the transition. Okay. Those who will be faced, who aren't, will be faced with judgment. Okay. Hey, do you know what time it is? I fed the kitties. What's up? Also, welcome home, sweetheart. It's time to kiss your wife. Hold up. I gotta go kiss my wife. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Bruh. Love you. All right, I had to go kiss the wife. I'm back. <laughs> Check out this clip. It's nothing. Uh, <laughs> it got it right at the end there. Uh, <laughs> Pingal. 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 As a United Nation, our undying spirits will live on. We're, we're, it's important to inform your family and your friends and your neighbors to effectively prepare for a nuclear attack. Just fucking die. Pingal. Should I go back and check? What, what the fuck was all that? I'm going to probably just skim read this. Uh, don't show other people this shit. Okay. It is important to inform people on how you can, cannot prepare for this. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking take.
I have uh, Where the Wind Blows on my uh, list here. It was, it was recommended. Good night. Are you fucking while watching the Weather Channel, Bernasco Witch? Deep night. Have sex while watching the weather. Have sex. Okay, typography is tonight. Tripography. It's a different thing. Region one. Latest capture, 322 AM. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier about um that you can't just like move a camera around because of the parallaxing. You can tell that this is a still image that they're like moving because if this is a camera that's rotating uh some of this stuff would appear to get closer or shift as it turns whereas this it just looks like we're sliding sideways so no fish eye effect yes the farther things would move slower okay The Torrent Park region has seen minor increases in growth since the last inspection on March 20. Uh, we watched a couple backroom videos, uh, the pool and stuff like that, but... It's like weird holes in the ground, so cool. Region 2 data. 14% growth. Good for it. I've heard there's pills you can take to make it grow double the size. Zenith Garden uh, region is located only 2.3 miles or kilomiles, kilometers from the Torrent Park. It is still unknown if the two regions are physically linked. Okay. I see ads for those all the time. Kilomiles. Yeah. Kilomiles. We'll, we'll, we'll cut the difference with y'all like all the other countries in the world you want to do like kilometers and fucking meters and shit all right kilomiles what do you think average american negotiation tactic why what if what if instead of kilomiles right we just use miles what if you guys what if you guys stop using your system that makes sense and you adopt our stupid one if there is a coherent story going on here i do not understand it yet I'll be honest with you. I have no idea how any of these events are connected. Like, looking at the flash from the nuke, you're dead. Also, if you look at the lighthouse, you you die, I guess. And then something spooky happening with the lighthouse. And non-Euclidean architecture. And then holes. It's like an anthology series, but not really. 
They're not related to each other at all. Okay, well, I, I don't... East King Street location has seen substantial growth since the last inspection. Data suggests the presence of seed growth. Like the, the nuke video is just straight up like don't worry about it. Like a lot of uh videos back in the day when they were telling you how to deal with nukes were just like hide under your <laughs> yeah, exactly. I feel like a lot of the videos back in the day on, like, how to deal with nukes were just placating people into believing that, like, okay, we got the situation under control, so we're not gonna freak out. We're gonna be calm. Also, we're, like, 755 followers away from an even 50,000 on, on this Twitch channel right here. So, if you're not following me right now, like, I never ask for followers, but, like, um, that, I, I don't know if there's something I should do about that, but that's a big number. That's, that's a large number. They're trying to dispel panic. Exactly. Sort of like why we take our shoes off at the, uh, um, uh, you know, the, 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 I was going to say grocery store. That's wrong. You know what? It's why we take off our shoes at the grocery store. It helps us feel better about the possibility of there being terrorists airport. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, because one guy tried to get through uh the self checkout line once uh with his shoes on, and now we have to take them off. That's a normal thing that we do in America. We take our shoes off, we put them on the the conveyor belt, and we just let it go, and then we 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 watch it happen. Security culture. Do you scan them? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Americans scan their shoes. Do you not do that in other countries? I've never had to do that here. You don't you don't pick you don't put your you don't take your shoes off at the grocery store. We just weigh them? I mean, yeah, obviously you can weigh them if you're cool, but you could just uh, you, you could just, you know, you know, put, put them on the scale. I mean, the guy at the counter will do the scale thing for you. Yeah, you, you, you take your shoes off when you go to the, when you go to the grocery store and you buy stuff. You first thing on the conveyor belt is your shoes. Bruh. <laughs> Second thing on the conveyor belt is your nuts. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Video. <laughs> I'm I'm going to have to save that video. It's too good. Uh-oh. There's a spookies. Spookles. Growth nearly complete. Okay.
End program. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, this series, just shit is happening. But like... <laughs> like, shit's happening, but it's like... Uh, you know what I mean? Like... Random shit's happening, but I like it feels like it's not connected, and I think that's the point. It needs some focus. It's like this video so far. This first 20 seconds is like this entire series. No, 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 no. Hold up. The typography, right? It like jumped there, but like the background didn't. Watch this. That's not, that's not how anything works, man. Like if this was from a cast, like they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that, you know? Way, we just got to an even like 49,250. Thank you for the follow, uh, the cherry, and everyone else who just followed a minute ago. The cell sheet slipped, I guess. It, it is possible to have two layers, but why would it be on the recording? that they had it slip. Like, why is it doing that? Bruh. Bruh. Why is it doing that? It takes from their believability, yeah. Like, the whole thing should shift. You know? I wonder if these are real names. Like the cobwebs? Are they the, the thing? Yeah, I skipped forward a bit because I think those. Okay, it's a bunch of people's. Dates of death. Let's, let's back it up to like here. Uh, in memorandum of those who lost their lives between December 1952 and October of 1953, working under Somber Film Company, the film is dedicated to the family and friends of those deceased. Let's go ahead and. Uh, speeding it up because either this is going somewhere it's not and it looks like it might not be like a whole bunch of people died they're dying at like 40 ish may their souls rest in peace didn't we see these names before I don't think so Bruh. 
Attack of the Somberville Spiders. We had the spider thing earlier in this video. Now. Now. Okay. Gosford, Old Gosford City Council meeting. Bruh. I know. I'm just I'm quickly quickly scanning it to see if this goes anywhere. Please tell me there's voice acting because I'm tired of reading shit. My throat's like blown out. Currently five past the hour, so we will be. What? Wait! No! 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 Dude, the mayor is censored. Why the? Why is Mayor Smith censored? We know who the fuck he is. He's the fucking mayor. What? That makes no sense. What's the point, man? Maybe it just looks like that. His face looks like a penis. His face is actually a fully bro blown dick. He just has a cock for a face. They were probably trying to make it look like he was saying this stuff. First, I would like to announce uh, to present city resource allocations, sure. 58% of the budget is excavation. Okay. So this relates back to the, the, the holes? Cut down the cost of excavation, update the road infrastructure following the expansion of the project into the commerce district. Any questions regarding these updates? Dude, I think this is town has just fully funded the idea of like guys being guys digging holes. Like the masculine urge to dig a hole. You know what I mean? Have you ever gone outside and just dug a hole? Dude. Bruh, Bruh you should. As a kid, sure, yeah, but like, it's a thing, right? The masculine urge to search for holes and in the lack thereof, create one. The lighthouse beam mutated the grounds, maybe? 7% of the budget is education. 58% of it is excavation. We are fully financing digging holes. Fuck the children. They can be stupid. We need to dig holes. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you're going to spend all of the city's budget on digging holes, then you just don't need education for the children. You just dig more holes. Right? I'm having an ADHD moment. Do I... Is this going to be... Is this going to go anywhere? 
Because we could very easily just switch. Because I don't know if this is going anywhere that I care about. I'll be honest with you. It does? Okay. Because I feel like I'm watching an actual city council meeting. <sighs> If you listen really carefully, you can hear the voices. Smile tapes yet? I believe so. Maybe? Oh, the Polish smile tapes. I didn't like those. It sounded like there's some bullshit that went down. Different smile tapes, okay. So there's light coming out of the ground. Finally, some connecting tissue here. Okay, cool. Fucked up glowing heart, sure. Why not? I think you kill that thing. That's weird and big. Is there a guy hanging out there? Like right here? Is there a guy like just going, just being like. Chilling like this. Be like, hey. I'm glad to be part of the city council meeting. I hope that you'll uh you you'll you'll vote for me again. Joey's slouching. Joe's bored off his fucking ass. It might just be a cup. It's hard to tell. Oh shit, the floor exploded? Oh shit! That's awesome! Big dude! Yeah! We're going somewhere now! We're doing things! What if you could become, um, become giant like that? I'm actually that tall. I love old videos of technology like this, where they're like, oh man, look at our 3D graphics. Like the old 90s animations and shit. Like what was that, the name of that one where it's like they were going through the museum and they played at school? Old 3D graphics were so shit, I loved them. Jeebus Orb. It's a ring! Yay!
Amazing. Created from the visions and dreams of our dedicated employees. Okay, cool. I like the music. It's probably my favorite part so far. Like old 90s math books where it'd just be like orb and cube. And it's like, fuck yeah. Ever watched the old timey computer show? No, I haven't. Uh, I have seen Mandela, yes. Uh, we did that last week? Or the week before last, I think. Pretty sure we did Mandela catalog already. And then we watched the Scrimbo as well. Uh oh. All graphics modeled after real world observations. Nice. So they're real. The 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 ring going into space is real. They have limited capabilities, whoever's making this, to make good, like, art, but it's not holding them back, like, um, not Five Nights at Freddy's, whatever the fuck that one was called. Um, Bill Reed has a, uh, a dick coming out of the back of his head. Walton Files, thank you, yes. some uh look like some straight up servitors or some shit that guy just has a microchip on his cheek they're borg bruh i know right Praise the Omnissiah. Are these beds? Oh, they're beds, yay! Here at Interface, our visions become reality. What was that, bruh? Uh, we added uh, a video in the background that's one hour of silence with occasional bruh added in. And I'm just playing it in the background while we're watching stuff. Nearly at the end of Bra. It's okay. I'll just loop it. Oasis Greenhouse. PS1 boot up sound effect? No. I have zero idea what Vine Sauce as a group is. It's a group of streamers. That's about it. We just, uh, as a collection. You know how there's like, I, I don't know, like Hollow Live? Before Hollow Live. Uh, there was vine sauce and it was just a bunch of fuckers that Vinny was like, yeah, whatever you can hang out with us. And that's vine sauce. External stamen and nectar is its use. Okay. Who's your manager? Uh, me. I'm my manager. If I fuck up, don't go to Vinny about it. Come to me about it. Oversized palm leaves. What the fuck are we talking about? I want to speak to your manager. I don't think Tilda is my manager, no.
I'm your CFO. I don't know what a CFO is. Predatory tendrils. Oh, there we go. We're getting fucked up shit. Let's go. Beige genetic code and carnivorous tendencies. Sure. Uh, we started with um, live stream, not you stream. And Chitango, though. Oh, well, thank you, Molten Mermaid. I will let my manager know that you said that. Um, I'm gonna give it till the end of this video, and if it doesn't pick up, I don't think I give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, bruh, right. energy uh, and there's a guy in. I'm sorry this one's just not doing it for me man it feels like it wants to be like uh, all of the things like they've got the holes and they're doing excavations and then they're using the plants to make like whatever like it, it, this is literally like mystery flesh pits mi mixed with like local 58 I don't, I don't think that the, the, there's a connecting tissue here that makes enough sense i don't think that there's enough here to really go with i'm just i'm not i'm not feeling it man this is not going anywhere i'll be real with you we'll, we'll finish out this video because it's like 20 seconds more and then we're gonna switch Eventide is a group of different stories. It's None of it is is told to me in a way that I can actually figure out what the fuck is supposed to be happening. You know? Tang Tangi virus. Let's go. Vintage 8, is that the channel we're going to? Children Under the House. Season one? This one? It's kind of slow. It's 36 minutes long. Bruh. Video, do you want to hit me up with one of those? No? Okay, well, I guess I'll go fuck myself then. Anyway, um, 36 minutes is a long amount of time. Like, this is going to have to pick up real fast in order for it to be good, so. We'll give it, uh, we'll give it, like, 10, let's give it 15 minutes. It's got to suck me in in 15 Bruh. minutes. Fuck you! One, an identified disease. Researcher, Dr. Julia Williams. Station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date, the 8th of August, 1988. Report, several cases of an unidentified infection have been reported in several parish residents. Patients were reported to have been swimming in the Tick Four River prior to symptoms. In the what? Additional notes, blood samples have been ordered from each patient. What? Swimming in the Tickfall River prior to symptoms. Okay. Prior to symptoms. Additional notes. 
Blood samples have been ordered from each patient. Water samples were taken from three key areas of the river. Sample 1, outside Lake Pontchartrain. Why are cats so great? They're cute and adorable and petable. They're, they're a vicious predator that you can pick up and move somewhere else. It's hilarious. You've made the world's perfect killer and you've made it tiny size so it can be picked up and moved around because it's a baby. It's amazing. Sample three, North Parish. That's amazing news. Thank you. Keep keep us updated, Pyramid. Uh, I are expected in seven to eight business days. A follow up to this entry will be made shortly after. Tape two. Inconclusive. Researcher Dr. Julia Williams. Station Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date the eighteenth of August, nineteen eighty eight. Report. Low levels of aluminum and copper were discovered. Neither should have produced the symptoms found in patients. Blood work yielded negative results. Common pathogens consistent with symptoms were not present. Additional notes. Many of the patient's symptoms have improved. Several, however, have worsened by developing meningitis. 20 okay. new patients have been admitted, all with initial symptoms of a cheese throat, skin rash, irritated eyes, nausea, and diarrhea. Okay. I suspect we are dealing with something viral. What should I name my new cat? Patient one, infant. Send Condition pictures. Symptomatic. Post pictures of it on, on Twitter. Patient two, adult. Condition, deceased. He looks alive right there. You're a bad doctor. Holy shit. <laughs> that guy was very alive. What? <laughs> Patient three, child, condition, stable. Patient four, adult, condition, stable, lost child. Okay. Look, this is stock footage, just work with us. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Autopsy results. Patient 2. Tumor found near spine. More tests need to be conducted on surviving patients. Meningitis. Uh, it's a brain thing. Researcher, Dr. Julia Williams. Station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date, the 5th of November, 1988. So the baby got whatever this is. Report. I believe to have discovered a new pathogen in the waterways near Kate's Crossing. It was also found in the blood work of our patients. We are nicknaming the disease, the Tangier virus. Okay, cool. We got our name Report drop. Continued. The parish government has been notified. Blood samples, water samples, and biopsies have been sent to the CDC. So we're in America. That's some water right there. Is this text to speech? Yeah. It's text to speech with a, a apparently Welsh accent. It's fucking nothing. Bruh. <laughs> That's the scientist's response to this. Biopsy results. Okay. The tumor yielded a strange and frightening discovery. They were filled with aggressive worm-like organisms. Sure. As impossible as this may seem, but it appears the organisms are being birthed from the virus. Almost like they are being hatched. Uh-oh. Real quick note for anyone who's not live here in chat. Someone in chat a minute ago said that there's been 
uh, porn made of the Tangi virus. So I've been um, really trying to keep it out of the the loop um, on like, I'm, I'm having a hard time being spooked because I'm thinking about how someone could possibly jerk off to this, but Parasite, sure. All right. Yeah. Got to catch them all. We're just doing a wiggle. Feel it. All right. I think this is real footage of something else. I don't know what this is supposed to be. But they're wiggling. They're having a great time wiggling. Results. Further tests are needed. Not all nematodes are parasitic. Thoughts. The idea of discovering a new virus is both terrifying and exciting. I'm just glad we identified the pathogen before it had a chance to spread. I'm sure we did that. And that's the end of the series. Everything went great. Son, researcher, Dr. Julia Williams, Station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit, date, the 7th of January, 1989. Report, my supervisor has informed me that the CDC is still processing the samples sent two months ago. An official statement should be coming soon. However, he was assured that the pathogen in question was not a serious threat. I find this shocking considering what I have found in my own research. The virus initially reproduces an elytic cycle. However, in time, it undergoes a type of metamorphosis. From what I can observe, the viral stage seems to be its immature form. Once the worm-like parasites emerge, they immediately seem to gravitate toward the brain and nervous systems. Survivors show negative results for Tangier virus. However, I am wondering what might be going on in their head. Head is the only way to detect the secondary infection may be an autopsy. I believe it may be in our best interests if I contact the CDC myself. The CDC hasn't received our samples. When confronted as to why, my supervisor claims that another parish confirmed that the pathogen to be Giardia. I find this to be not only outrageous view in name. Why would he lie about sending the samples to the CDC? And Giardia, a grade schooler wouldn't confuse Giardia with the Tangier virus. I, I don't know enough about whatever that other virus is to be able to... Tipping point. Researcher, Dr. Julia Williams. Station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date, the 4th of April. Conspiracy time. Report. Despite my repeated warning... It's just another parasite? Okay. It's promoting its waterways to its citizens and surrounding That's what I thought, parishes. but I mean, like, I don't know what it That's why is supposed to look like. Alerted. The riverways are big money and no one in the administration wants a potentially deadly disease scaring the tourists. Ah, uh, this is the Jaws situation. Bureaucracy. I fear this could be ground zero for a major outbreak, and not a Giardia. When was this made? Oh, this year. Okay. Continue. Return to the waterways. Get in the fucking water. It's filled with viruses that'll give you a tumor and it'll reproduce. Yeah. However, the potential pandemic. This is a random fucking body of water. Like, just be like, whatever. Like, there's not that much tourism coming for fucking water, right? Fine, whatever. The most concerning piece of news that I've received. Patient for brutal E killed her husband with her bare hands. What? She kidnapped patient one after also murdering the child's parents. Okay. That baby is like 80 years old now. Patient three also violently attacked his parents. Okay. So this is, uh, it was actually made before this year. It's just a compilation. Okay, cool. In addition, several people have been reported to have gone missing on the river. I am convinced it is all connected. 
Okay, this will be fine. Nothing bad will happen. Deep six. Bad to worse. Research her. Doctor. Julia Williams. Station. Bad to worse, but it's at batter's worse. Date, the 18th of October, 1989. Report. The summer went exactly as I figured. More sick. Most get better quickly, which means no one cares about the possible secondary infection. I can't in good conscience allow this to continue. Despite pleading with everyone in my department, no one will listen to my concerns. I'm thankful I live outside of this parish. Now, they are building a landfill near the river. The rumor in the town is they are covering something up. Some say it's a spaceship. Okay. We're, we're jumping to spaceship immediately? So we have like rage virus? Hey, what's up, slut? No. I am not? No. Okay, bye. But I don't have time for that nonsense. I think it's time I threatened to go to the press. Press. I him, and I was terminated, effective immediately. However, when I returned to my office, I found a tape on my desk. There was a note that simply said, Lab 8, come at night. The following was recovered from a missing person's case. Himmy was one of those bras. Scam callers suck, dude. Bruh. Thank you. I'm actually really pleased with myself that that lined up like that. It's a gator! It's a lot of water. It's another gator. Maybe not. Oh, was that flares? Oh shit! It's time for orbs! Glowing orbs! We probably do have Based spaceship. On I've seen on this tape, I will return tonight. No, I think... Oh, okay, you're saying Teacher. to the lab. Alien, researcher, doctor, Julia Williams, station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit, date, the 18th of October, 1989. Continued. Report, I was shocked to find my supervisor and his assistant were the ones who left the tape. Ah. Apparently, they have been trying to figure out who they can trust with the current threat. They believe most of the parish government has been infected. Oh, I see. Regardless, what they showed me in Lab 8 was disturbing to say the least. So, so we're talking about a situation where not only does it make you freak the fuck out and murder people, but the virus also makes you want to hide the fact that the virus exists. That's horrifying. Brain control parasite that's based in the water brought by aliens. It's making the freaking frogs gay. The virus is sentient. It doesn't want to just spread. It wants control. Oh, Cognito hazard. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Uh, that's a pair of lungs. All right. From what we can observe, the worms spread throughout the body's nervous system so they can override the host when needed. The tumor acts as a second brain. Oh, that's really upsetting. Don't show this. Even decapitated, the worms keep the dog's head alive. Yeah, it's... The data has seen, most will simply succumb to the virus. That's a, that's a famous uh, footage, yeah. What? Afterwards, we went to my supervisor's. Bruh. Home. Yeah, right? He spent hours telling me how the local government is planning to introduce the virus. There's an old Soviet experiment? Yeah, the idea was that you could keep the brain alive by just pumping the right stuff into it. It was unclear if it actually worked or not. is frightening, but I must admit, it feels good to no longer feel alone. It was a hoax. The dog was just sedated. 
Tip eight. The end or the beginning. Personal journal. Oh, okay. Dr. How the Williams. fuck did its head not be attached? Of October, 1989. It's proven fraud. Okay. I must have passed out because when I woke up, I remember I it being alone. like. Jim left me a note. I mean, that's good at least. Things. Welcome to the family. How would I react so if I was just a separate head? Can I still stream? In hours. Must be Can I still jerk off? Record. Then I guess the real battle begins. Last night, Jim seemed pretty confident that we will be able to get both the CDC and military involved. The 6th of November, 1989. Back to work and back to war. I'm feeling un... The decapitated heads were actually a trick of the lens. I see. The experiment happened, but it didn't work. I see. She's infected? Okay, hold up. I'm gonna back it up a bit. Afterwards, we went to my supervisor's, Jim's home. He and Jay spent hours telling me how the local government is planning to introduce the virus to the water and food supplies. Oh, that's not good. We discussed plans of how to go public over a bottle of wine. Alien invasion by way of viral infection is frightening, but I must admit, it feels good to no longer feel alone. Tape 8. The end or the beginning. Personal journal. Dr. Julia Williams. Date. The 19th of October, 1989. I was one year First, old. I must have been passed out, because when I woke up, I was alone. Jim left me a note. It said two things. Welcome to the family and see you back at work. Welcome to the family. That's... Fired and rehired in 24 hours. Must be some kind of record. What the fuck? Then I guess the real battle begins. Last night, Jim seemed pretty confident that we will be able to get both the CDC and military involved. The 6th of November, 1989. Back to work and back to war. I'm feeling under the weather, but Jim and I have a big meeting today. Time to discuss the future. Uh-oh. Odd. Jim wasn't him today, but he left the bottle of wine that we shared two weeks ago. It had instructions to analyze. Uh oh. So I did as asked. Uh oh. oh I am infected with the Tanji virus. Oh, her voice got all distorted. Oh no. I immediately left. As I drove away, the staff at the entire building followed me to the parking lot and watched me as I drove away. They were all smiling. Oh, that's How not good. Be so gullible? Yeah. Not good. So wait, okay. So they're not the the supervisors were not like trying to help her. They're like, oh, we we're gonna talk to the CDC about this. Let's just like let's calm down for a minute over some fucking wine. You want to drink some of this wine I have here? We could just drink this fucking wine and it'd be fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Insert bra here. Okay, okay, you know, lightning won't strike twice. But anyway, it turns out that they were infected and they were just trying to get her infected, so. February 1990. I'm working in a veterinarian's office. I've been Is the bra video still even going? Parasite yeah. drugs and chemotherapy meant for dogs. Bruh. There we go, underweight. thank you. Bold. My mouth is covered in sores, but I've kept the disease from overtaking me. But I'm just yeah, it's still on. until I can figure out how to cure this thing. The 23rd of April, 1990. I can feel them scratching at my skull. The drugs aren't as effective anymore. That's not good. My fingers are spasming. My eyes are twitching. I am dying. The 5th of May, 1990. I've been having the strangest dream. You know... Taking ivermectin might actually be a good idea here. Uh, like, legitimately, like, she might be taking ivermectin. Yeah. No, an anti parasite, when you have parasites, is a legitimate thing. My skull. The drugs aren't as effective anymore. Horse dewormer. Let's go. My fingers are spasming. My eyes are twitching. I am dying. The alien Paris. I don't know. Like, the fuck do you want to do? Like, just die? I don't know. What's the worst that happens? You shit yourself? You shit yourself super hard? Aliens can't have me. I'm going to shit myself to death. Fuck you. That's awesome. Fuck, fuck these guys. Either you get it out of your system or you shit yourself to death so the aliens don't get you.
It's fucking great plan. Go for it. I don't see the problem here. Strangest dreams. I've been thinking about Ireland, France, moving to the States for med school. The 15th of June, 1990. I miss my mom and dad. There's so much I wanted to do. I wanted to meet someone, grow old, have kids. Now I'll never do anything. The 27th of August, 1990. I can hear them now. They want me to consider them my children. I consider oh, them there you go. Okay. The 21st of September, 1990. I lost my job at the vet's office. My memory isn't what it used to be. I'm mailing these tapes to the FPTV cable station, the council too. I don't think that'll help. Here's what I learned to save us. The 8th of October, 1990. I'm ending things tonight. If anyone watching this wants to know my last words, there, boil anything you drink. It kills the virus. Oh, that's good. What about eating, though? After the old FT... FPTV building was torn down. Hundreds of old VHT, VHS tapes were needed to be digitalized and cataloged. She might be lying. Oh, that's a good point. What if she's lying? Most seem mundane, but on 1203.90, a mysterious message appeared in the channel's nightly ad section. Ooh, spookles. It only appeared once. Oh, this is a copyright claim easy. There goes the stream. Oh yeah, no, this specific recording is gonna be copyright claimed. You, they don't do just Mario and shit. They go for anything that like will be a thing that they can get. Bruh. Yeah, I know, bruh. But like, anytime it's yeah, the 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 person who wrote this dead, dead as shit. But like, it doesn't matter, man. This specific performance has been copyright claimed. That's fucking whack. Yeah. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'm just gonna let it roll at this point. Do you have a second audio channel so it doesn't go to VOD? That doesn't work anymore. I do have a second audio channel so that way I can re-upload it if that happens. Even public domain songs will get claimed? Dude, I could write a song and it would get claimed. You know? It doesn't matter. Like, they'll claim anything. Sell your car! It is fucked up. Don't trust your government. They have sold you out. You have been warned. Nice. Hooray! Yeah, I, yeah, kind of heady on that one, man. Like, it, it's I've I've seen what the government does, like. At best, they're incompetent. At worst, they're actively harmful. I'm already on. I'm already on that one, man. Uh, three days until an ill-time boil advisory appeared on a pre-recorded newscast. Ten nine. Oh, I I see what you're doing there. That's cute. Uh? Two? Huh. And that's gonna hurt someone's eyes. By working with the property owners and other concerned groups throughout the parish, we have made great strides in cleaning the river such as this. The Nittobany River is a... Props to them getting a real fucking person to stand on the banks of a river and give absolutely no fucks about the lines he's being given where it sounds like he's a mayor. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Dad, for showing up and doing the thing. Like, this guy, this guy is doing a great job. Big concern of ours. By having the landfill nearby, it does create a possible... Uh, 
image of polluting that river, but I can assure you, we at the landfill are making every effort that we possibly can to see that the landfill does not pollute any river, any stream, any body. He has, he has absolutely no idea how to hold his arms. It's wonderful. This is really good. Body of water uh, throughout this parish. And I am motherfucker. Very, very oh. adamant about the personnel at the landfill. They have orders that if they have any type of activity out there that might be damaging to any stream, that they're to report it to me and, and uh, the proper authorities immediately. We have formed this committee, and the committee is going, going to be very active to monitor the, the activities at the landfill and to see that if there is a uh, problem on the Natalbany River, that we can address it. And if it is a in the what river reported to me and and uh, the proper authorities immediately, we have formed this committee and the committee is going going to be very active to monitor the the activities at the landfill and to see that if there is a uh, problem on the Natalbany River, Natalbany. That we can address okay. it. And if it is a a problem that can be solved or created by the landfill itself, it will be handled and handled properly. Great job, Dad. This guy has zero idea on how any civic duty works. He's just like any small town mayor. Absolutely spot on. No, he did a great job. You know? Like, who gives a shit about that recording? You know? Who the fuck is going to actually watch that? Oh, we're watching, like, daytime television and the mayor shows up. And it's like, three people are watching that. Stoners, kids home sick from school, and old people. Okay? None of those people give a shit about whatever he's saying there. Except for maybe the old people. They did a great job with that. What do you want to bet boiling water does nothing to this thing? I mean, the alcohol didn't, so. Within a week of the boil water uh, advisory, the parish was grasped, gripped in an environmental disaster. Uh-oh. The new health unit on Club Deluxe Road between Hammond and Punchatoula, just one hallmark of growth and steady improvement here in Tangpaho, especially in parish government. With me is Parish President Gordon Burgess. And oh, Gordon he's back! Oh my god, that guy's hair! This, the fucking cars! They're old as shit! How did you do that, man? That's great! Those are not contemporary cars. They look like shit. Car show, maybe? This is great, man! Health unit, we can certainly see evidence of a parish government on the grow and on the move. Yes, uh, Ken, we can. Uh, we have this new unit uh, here in, um, on Club Deluxe Road, and then we also have... Like, those are old-ass fucking cars. Like, and not cool old cars, right? I don't know cars all that well, but those are old cars, right? They're like 90s? Of the, uh, 90s, 80s? Mate, uh, that's on Highway 16... Uh, west of town and we're very proud to uh have the two health units in the parish thank you for the year of support zafani of the people uh, sorry i don't know how to pronounce your name shots or uh whatever the, the service that we can render to the people we uh we feel like that we have the facilities now that will uh, satisfy those needs well stay with us everybody because in addition to this uh she was infected the idea seems possible it makes sense that she wasn't totally in control anymore yeah Facility here will show you other hallmarks in Tangbahoa. 
I, I know that's a little thing, and maybe I, I don't know how they got that together, but the idea that all of the cars are like, I mean, like, that's that's pretty cool, man. It's a small detail. If they had like contemporary ass like cars in the background, I'd be like, whatever, this is a, a small project, but that's great. Anyway, within a few days, the uh, boil advisory notice was dropped with no warning or news coverage, just a strange 15 second spot. I need to get food. Can you pause it real quick? N no. <laughs> Drinking water saves wise. Yay! I think this is actual news footage that they've cobbled Bruh. together. I think this is actual news footage that they've uh, cobbled together and used outside the original context. That would be amazing if that's what they did. Over the next three months, the parish government employed an aggressive pro-drinking water campaign. I mean... And terror has come to America. And this typical day in anywhere USA that would explain a lot actually urban, will be forever changed in the aftermath of such devastation we'll see a shift a return in focus to the small town roots of morality a morality that has remained rooted and intact beneath the camouflage of the everyday citizens hustle life is a fragile gift that is delivered to us in peace in small moments, and it only achieves meaning as we cherish and blend the pieces, even the seemingly insignificant pieces, into a full universal whole. Drink! Yay! Despite continuous pro-water drinking ads, it seems to be getting back to normal. That's good. Everything's normal. It's fine. Just drink water. It's okay. That's an awful image. What the fuck am I looking at? Dude's lips, I think. I'll be honest with you. I can't tell when people are doing ballet good. They're mostly in synchronicity. Biohazard warning. Unknown substance detected in the water. Oh. Do not drink the water. Do not bathe in the water. Do not give to pets. Boiling is not enough. Sounds like the water creepy guy from the last one. Totally toxic. Something unnatural is in the water. The sick are no longer human. Stay human. Don't drink the water. Okay. It's like that one ad on the other one. It is old news footage. He was the real parish president. Holy shit. So he wasn't acting. He was just awkward like that. That's amazing. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you, Pyramid Ed Crab. That's great. According to those living in the parish at the time, panic followed up the message broadcast. All of them declined an interview. Bruh. That video is just the video that keeps on giving. Anti water messages who began to appear at random. Oh, this dance sucks. Areas uh, to purchase bottled water, Guy Supermarket, limit one case per individual, Sunflower out, Fred's, limit one per individual, Win Dixie out, Walmart out.
Do not take water from the health unit. It has been tainted. Within days of the warning, the parish officials began working around the clock at the landfill. Good. Normal. Great. What they were doing was never disclosed to the public. I would imagine this is all real old town footage, yeah. I wonder if this was like any bit real, like maybe they, they put a landfill up near the water and it, you know, wasn't like leaking aliens or anything. It was just like making people sick because it was going into the, the drinking water or something, you know? Is it illegal to collect rainwater in some states? Yes. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it, part of it is, uh, sanitation stuff. Um, it, if you, so one issue with taking water, like runoff water off your roof, your roof is made out of like, I don't know, those, those shingles, those tiles, right? They can have all sorts of weird shit. Uh, too many people collecting it could cause a drought. Sure. There's tar in the shingles. Sure. Uh, and that's going into your drinking supply, like. Runoff bad, yeah. I don't know how you could cause a drought. It does seem like... You would have to, like, store shit tons of water out of it. I mean, what? I had a rain bucket for gardening. Uh, I'm calling the cops. That's illegal. But that's an amazing idea, actually. Just have a bucket for water. Though you get mosquitoes down here in Texas if you did that. Bruh. I digress. What are they covering up? The video uh, played 24-7 for one week. Okay. Notice of evacuation on Highway 22, I-55, I-12, and leave the parish. Do not stop for law enforcement until you are outside of the parish. Just fucking go! 24-7 alert. Until it abruptly stops. Cool. Normal. Good. Effective immediately, FPTV is under new ownership. <laughs> anyway, drink the water. It's fine. Drink the water. Do what the cops tell you to. Drink the fucking water. Nothing was ever said of the odd event ever again. Cool. Most consider it a joke. A few think it was something more sinister. We'll probably never know. The government has asked me to remove the videos. I don't know how long they'll remain up. In the late 90s, an unnamed storm settled over to the southeast Louisiana. Flash floods occurred without warning. Most of the population was trapped when the 
however you pronounce that river we overflowed area was devastated but the town of kate's crossing was perhaps hit the hardest oh no that's where the fucking river is fire department sent over volunteers to evacuate its citizens and they got spread all over the goddamn place with their creepy virus brains despite their best efforts the bodies of 200 people were never found bruh Most blame it uh, the rising rivers, but some say it was something else. The men and women serving that day do not speak of the great flood. Tape is the only first-hand account of that event. Gary, come in. What's your ETA? Five minutes, give or take. Ooh, bad, bad attempt at an accent. Do not turn around, don't drown. Do not be driving on that. Go ahead. I'm at the old church, and there's nobody here. You at the old Baptist? Looking right at it, and it's him. Somebody must have beat you to it. Look, we got an elderly couple southbound. Can you do it? Then four, I'm Bruh. Oh, wow, that bro is fast. Is this real? No, this is not real. It uses some real footage, but again, it's not. It's well hey, done, Bob, though, isn't it? The elderly couple is in my A. Call HQ and see if someone's making these rescues. Ten four. I'll like this is the worst out. attempt at a, an accent I've ever heard. Collecting rainwater basically anywhere I could find in the U.S. is legal, mostly for watering your yard and stuff. Sometimes for public health thing, personal drinking, but everywhere, anywhere it's illegal is just technically uh, and not really enforceable because of water rights law. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, cool. All right, all right. You're off the hook this time, Luigi guy. We're not going to turn you in. Hey, Molly, I'm at the Collins Wood subdivision. Where are they? Subdivision. Ben four. Ben four. Molly, I'm at the back of the Collins Wood. No one's here. There's no way someone else evacuated 30 people. Have you heard anything from HQ? That's a negative. Try again. Uh oh. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? No, I, I heard something. Wouldn't worry about it. Probably just an animal. The other guy said they've been hearing all sorts of stuff. Look, I'm gonna... Um, Start making my way back to you, okay? Ten four. This is someone attempting to do a southern accent, but not quite sure of what region he's from. Honestly, for most of the series, it's been pretty on point, and it's hard to tell what's an actor and what's a real, like, you know, thing. So, Here we can forgive crap. this one. We can forgive this one. Come on. We have a Jane Doe in need of medical. She has lacerations on her right arm. Says she was attacked by a monster in the middle of evacuation. Oh, what? I don't know. Probably was a snake or gator. Hold on. <laughs> Gary, I'm gonna have to let you go. Some kind of emergency in the front office. Nothing like a flood to bring out the best in people. Southern Maryland could be his accent? Nah. Molly, again, there's no one here, but something doesn't seem right. What does that mean? What's wrong? Molly, you there? Molly, come in, please. Jesus, Christ, <laughs> that sounds close. It is. It's very close. It's a spooky monster fella. What kind of spooky monster fella are we getting? I'm calling glowing lights right now. 
I want something better than glowing lights, though. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Is he actually out in the flood? Right around? Wow! <laughs> That's not what he said, but I love it. <laughs> okay, hold up. Lieutenant Gary Davis was never found. During the cleanup, rumors of monsters in the water circulated throughout the community. I think it's footage of uh, flood rescue recontextualized in 80 yard. I would imagine so. Yeah, I think that a lot of this is. That makes it kind of amazing. We were able to enact some Pure Waters Act uh, 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 ordinances that help clean up some of the... It's very creative use of stuff, like recontextualize him rivers. talking about and stuff. We probably have the cleanest river, the Tangipoe Parish. And uh, you're like, this guy's fucking infected, but this is just like a fucking guy. This is just some dude, you know? It's really good use of public footage. The whole river is the cleanest river in the state. But yet, we are the only state that's still labeled as being polluted and you can't swim or fish or tube in it. People to this day go messing on the go river. Oh, it's just the sound of the tape booting. We invite you to come visit the best kept secret in Louisiana, Tangipaho Parish. Business is booming. Restaurants have reopened. Miles of waterways are ready for you to enjoy. Every week, get in the fucking water. Fun to do in our little parish. Since the great flood, we have rebuilt our community into the perfect place to raise your family. So come and visit your friends in Tangipoa Parish. You might even find you'll never want to leave. But if you do, you'll never want to we'll leave. We'd send a piece of our community home with you. Some water. We here in Tangipoa Parish are proud to announce Tangi Water will be available at every major <laughs> supermarket in America. And who knows, maybe soon, people all over the world might get a chance to enjoy a cool, refreshing taste of Tangy Water. Tangy Water, it'll change you. It will. It will fucking change you. Drink the fucking water. We were conquered without a fight. Well... I mean, at the end of the day, it seems like everything turned out okay. What do you have to say about that, bro? Nothing. Um, let me check and see if there's any art. It doesn't look like there is any. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, my, my voice is, uh, my voice is starting to cut out on me, um, so I think we probably stop it there for the night, but, uh, I will take more recommendations, uh, for more series. If you are a, uh, person who makes these, or you just know a good one, post it in, um, the comments of this video or any of the analog horror videos and that way i can just like check because like th there's there's legit just like i've got an app right i've got the, the the app here right real easy for me to just boot up the youtube studio app and i could just see every single comment on the channel doesn't even have to be on the same video it'll show all the all the posts made anywhere i saw someone he commented on a video from the highlights channel from like years ago yesterday right guy 
uh, yesterday commented on, um, yesterday Smegpod commented on Toho in a nutshell, I see you, therefore violence must occur. Yeah. It was a line from the, the thing. Like, oh, Epic Deck came he, uh, to uh, mind after seven years, have to play it again. The Rad Bomber video got a comment yesterday. You know? Like... I will see your comments if you post them on YouTube. I may not respond to them, but I will see them. Trust me. It's my standard loop of like Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, YouTube studio, just to see what's going on in the world. So po post uh, what you think I should um, watch and uh, I'll see. I'll see what you guys say. But anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with something else. I think we're going to probably start a new game. Uh, we got we got some options. We got uh, Valhalla and Zero Time Escape. Uh, Valhalla is going to involve a lot of reading, and unless my voice gets its shit together by tomorrow, I might be fucked. Uh, Zero Time Escape. It, I hope YouTube with Mike soon. Hopefully, hopefully next time. Um, I did read the Mystery Flesh Pit. It's a really good one. It was the first one I did. Just play Peglin. I mean, yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with something. That's not good for my voice. Holy shit. Bye.